Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. I am here with Spirit to bring you light, love, and clarity from the divine. So please take the messages that honor your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. All right, let's see what today Spirit has. What is the storyline for today? <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, let me pull, hold this up to you. Look how beautiful. This here is crossing the bridge of happiness. Crossing the bridge of happiness is a way of reaching the point that you're destined to be at, but having the understanding that this this bridge that you must cross is natural, right? It's a natural path. So even though like the, the, for instance, the bridge is made of wood, right? Natural. You going through your life naturally, not forcing anything. This is letting you know if you take the course naturally, that it will be secure. It has secure footing for you. So spirit wants you to acknowledge your emotions, yet at the same time, you have an opportunity here to distance from the emotions so that you can remain centered, present, and balanced. So Many people think that the bridge to happiness is that wealth, the riches. The bridge to happiness is actually acknowledging everything of your existence and attaining maturity and wisdom from all the experiences that go along with it. So since we drew this card, the best scenario for you is to let go of any of your illusions, right? And any constricting thoughts. So those constricting thoughts, meaning those things that hold you back, that negative talk or actions that really don't serve you well. And that part of you that you leave behind allows you to meditate and walk with a step of gratitude. So keep in mind also, as you are developing, spirit will occasionally step back, not necessarily walk away because you can always call upon them. But if you feel that they are not present with you, it's because they too, right? It's like when you try to teach your child to ride a bike, you know, you're there in the beginning, right? That stage of showing them how the bike operates, how they can balance themselves. And at some point you have to let go. So the child learns to ride the bike on his own or her own. Same thing with spirit. They are with you always in your darkest of hour and also in your finest moments. But in your every day, the more spiritual you become, the more they are with you. But they still have to give you an opportunity to adjust yourself and find your own way through your own free will. So this is a great card because what they're saying is you are about to cross this bridge to happiness. It's you understanding, finally, how you can navigate through your life. All right. The acceptance of oneself. Today, I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to use the Rider weight deck because it's small. It's easier for me to manage in my hand. And we're going to see what guidance our spirit has for us. All right. One more. One more spirit. There we go. Okay, here we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so when we're talking about the Five of Wands, when you look at this card, what do you see, right? There is um, some sort of friction 
or arguing, a battle, right? It's, it's not drastic, but there is some sort of conflict. There may be gossip or competition that's going on around you. However, this is in your favor. You know how to choose your battles and you have nothing to fear. Sometimes when we progress, others don't understand how or why, what magic you have that you were able to accomplish such things. And so, you know, some people are not always happy for other people. So avoid this conflict, right? Walk away, it's not a big deal. Some of you, this is just happening behind your back and you don't even know it, which is wonderful because you don't even need to be a part of it. Okay, here, wands, hmm, another set of wands. All right, so now you have the two of wands. So sometimes <laughs> we do struggle in our own reality. What's next? Where do we go? What do I do? Um, I feel more that this is about you lying in wait for what's beyond, like what's coming next. So only you can really... You'd have to leave a comment for me, um, but this is this card always represents for me that you are contemplating, not a negative or a positive. It is just standing still, pausing, thinking, making a plan. All right, now we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, so. The Five of Pentacles is two different things. One, this for me is being left out in the cold, um, feeling alone, and yet you're not alone. You see this, this big church here in the background, right? There is always a place where you can go to talk to your higher beings and ask for guidance. Um, sometimes we're just looking for some sanctuary. If any of you are feeling like a little lost, I believe Mercury retrograde is almost over. I think it's got another day um, where like little things have been happening that, you know, you're like things have been breaking or timing is off. Um, little stressors, nothing major, but just aggravation. Let's put it that way. That's all ending. So for, for many of you, whatever this is, this feeling of being left out of something is going to go away. Or for some, it is that you are moving fast and furiously ahead and somebody else is feeling left behind. That's not for you to concern yourself with because you are on the right path and you're not doing anything to harm another person. You're just so focused on yourself. And maybe you had to leave someone or someones behind in order to achieve the goals that you set forth for yourself. Mm, yes, this is you sticking up for yourself. This is your seven of wands. And for your seven of wands, as you can see here, this is like you standing your ground. Um, like you know what you want and you've come this far and you're not gonna let anybody intrude upon what you are destined to take care of some kind of loss does take place with the seven of wands. It can be a material possession. It can be power. Uh, let me see, what else can I tell you about it? 
Sometimes it's about self-sacrificing. In other words, <clears throat> you may continue to do something alone, but it's because you're building it and it's yours. Again, not to worry about. Your job right now is to stay focused and balanced and not let emotions override. Acknowledge them, accept them, learn from them. But when you're making decisions, use your wisdom as well as your feelings. Um, sorry to tell you guys, there's a tower coming. All right, <clears throat> this tower, I never liked this card. <laughs> because for me, this is like the rug being pulled out from underneath. And it's unexpected. <clears throat> it is something that's going to take place that brings you to a better understanding of why everything is happening to you. This tower represents a false foundation. So look at it this way. <clears throat> if you're building something and you didn't do all the work, so you left out some details, then that foundation no longer can stand, right? It becomes unstable. Same thing with life. If you go into a relationship and it was built under false pretense, you weren't being honest with yourself or your partner, eventually, something's got to erupt. And this is why we argue. <clears throat> this is also sometimes when we walk away because there's something that was missing. And it's up to you to rebuild that. You have a choice of rebuilding. Rebuilding the relationship. Starting from scratch or looking at the details that you missed if you were building something, you know, like creating something. So a tower is coming in because either we became complacent and thought, oh, I've got this now, or your desire is not what is really destined for you. All right, now we have the five of swords. So the five of swords, you know, Swords are truth, right? Their thoughts, their intellect. This is an unsatisfied victory. This is something that you uh, won, <laughs> uh, achieved, but you're not real happy about it because you had to fight for it and, and others are falling from this and it's never you know it's it's one of those where the Pisces are like you know uh, yeah I stood my ground but you know not everybody walked away happy and and that does happen when we fight right so something is not going to be smooth sailing so it may be that there's additional work or new people that have to get involved Short term, though, this is short term for sure. <clears throat> it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> like I said about fighting, nobody wins here. Okay. <clears throat> Thank goodness we have the star. All right. So our star, it's a representation of hope, generosity, serenity so there's a piece for me this is always the balance card this is equal give and take this is you knowing that right no matter what situation that you come across or people that you interact with <clears throat> this is you balancing your emotions in such a way that you are able to communicate properly 
and stand true to who you are. And that's what allows you to shine. There also comes from this inspiration. All right, last card. All right, so with inspiration comes the Eight of Wands. Rapid changes. So when I told you about the tower, right? And when that takes place, there could be some disputes involving you and others. You do win this dispute, by the way, in your own right. Even though it leaves you a little like, what was that all about? <clears throat> but your star here represents this new sense of hope, realization, that you can still be generous. You can still be calm and collective with several encounters. And when you have your Eight of Wands, this happens to be, um, remember I told you a couple of days ago, different reading, you know, Pisces is on fire. Yes, there is this, this newfound freedom and understanding of oneself that allows you to grow because you're now motivated. You understand yourself better. You're going to take action. It becomes from an eight of wands to a main focus. Okay, so we've got some things happening, but good stuff. Don't let any of this scare you. It's not about that. It's about learning how to go with it and knowing when things take place, <clears throat> you step back and kind of recall what actions you took, what words you chose, and then the emotions around all of that and how, how, what was the lesson in it? That's what you're looking for now. The lesson in everything that happens to you and how you take those lessons and use them for your greater good. All right, Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for our Pisces today? I know you're saying to me, well, what's the tower? What's the tower? I'm going to see if I can't clarify the tower for you as soon as I get Archangel Michael's advice. All right, here we go with Archangel Michael. All right. Okay, so Archangel Michael's advice is to recognize the signs from above. So <clears throat> angels are still sending you messages, but you're too distracted to notice. So stay alert and open to divine guidance. Now, as you can see on this card, okay, the pictures, the coins, the feathers, the butterflies, the 444, this is your sign. If you're walking anywhere and you look down and you see a coin, that's an angel. You see a feather, that's an angel. A butterfly, an angel, new growth. 444 synchronicities. There are actual books out there for the numbers in spirit world, and you can actually look them up um, because it may not be 444. It may be 333 or 222, 1212, 1111, any kind of synchronicity that you see over and over again. When you see the four fours, that is usually spirit bringing you love and security in your time of need or distraction. And they're trying to get your attention. Other spirit numbers represent a different type of meaning. Sometimes it's like um, your thoughts are manifesting faster than you're allowing your thoughts to process. And so you're making choices that are not good for you. Same thing with this divine guidance. This spirit is trying to get your attention and you're not noticing. 
feathers. Feathers come in different ways. Uh, you may actually get birds that come and sit on your stoop or uh, on your the roof of your home and different types of birds. The crow usually comes and he speaks truth. He's trying to tell you there's something that you're not speaking on your behalf, your own truth. So Spirit and Archangel Michael is just trying to say, if you're not seeing any of these things, then you need to calm down a bit. I'm sorry, I hate to say you need. I don't like to lecture you in doing what you're being yourself, right? Um, but Spirit is trying for you to acknowledge and they're trying to guide you in a better direction. All right, um, let's go ahead real quick. And we're going to ask Spirit to provide us, uh, excuse me one second, if they can clarify for us what the tower is. And I'll probably pull two cards. One may resonate and one may not, or they both may. Okay. Spirit, please identify the tower. Okay, the first tower is the King of Wands. All right, so let's, let me, King of Wands, King of Wands, hang on one second, let me see. Okay, King of Wands for me is, you know, your overthinker. And he's actually the one who has no friends, but there's a reason he has no friends because he's stubborn. <laughs> so he has a lot of followers because he's extremely intelligent. So either somebody thinks that they know too much or they got this under control and um, they're smarter than the other person. It's like uh, somebody that commits a crime, you know, and they try to lie their way out of it because they think they're smarter than law enforcement um and eventually that tower for him breaks down that was really a dark analogy but i just wanted to draw you a vision so spirit is letting you know that this tower is because there's more information that you need before you can move forward and they're going to show you something and when you see it that's when you're going to have that aha. I get it now. All right. And the second one is the fool. All right. So your fool is about the beginning. Um, it's your spontaneity. So this is something that's going to require a little bit more faith. There's something about faith involved in this tower. And, you know, we can all say that we believe in spirit or God or whatever your higher being is that you speak to. Um, and it's like, you know it, but maybe you don't put enough work into it or you don't apply it towards what you're doing. You only call upon spirit when you need something instead of following the guidance on a daily basis. So those are the two representations that they are giving me for the tower. So it's not major, but it's enough to stop you in your tracks and open up your eyes. All right. That's all the messages I have for you today. Thank you so much again for joining, liking, and subscribing, and leaving your comments. I'm going to try to get back with everybody uh, probably tomorrow. I'll be able to sit down in a quiet moment and respond to everybody's comments. All right, babies. Take care.